Hey, hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm here with a pregnancy update for weeks 31 and 32. So if you're curious to see how me and this baby girl are doing, go ahead and keep watching. So a couple weeks ago, Eric and I were able to go and take a birthing class. I think that's basically what it's called um, at our hospital that we'll be delivering at. And in the class, they went over kind of what to expect um, as far as labor and delivery goes specific to that hospital. So it was a birthing class, but I just feel like it wasn't like we weren't learning a bunch of techniques for birth. We were more just um, getting a general overview of what to expect um, and um, they allowed us to ask a ton of questions. Uh, it was just us and two other couples. Um, the instructor was really awesome. I really I really liked her. Um, she's a labor and delivery nurse at the hospital who's had I think four kids. Anyway, um, and so we were able to also take a tour of the hospital and kind of get a step-by-step -step um, sort of like instruction on how to like when we are going into labor or whatever like what to do as far as like when we get to the hospital where we go who we talk to all that kind of stuff which that actually has been on my mind lately like I didn't I didn't know what you do <laughs> like or even um, when do you know if you're like actually in labor I didn't even know that like and when you are in labor, do you call or do you just go in? And our hospital is like, you know, less than two minutes away, really. Um, so it wouldn't hurt for us to just go in if we think we're in labor. But we went over like all the signs of like actually being in labor and knowing if your water broke or at least having an understanding of the difference differences of like your water breaking or maybe you just feed yourself or, you know, just like simple things like that that maybe would seem common like common sense but I don't know it's just stuff that really put my mind at ease by being able to go and take this to our class and the tour and all that kind of stuff um, so it was really really good for me and I, I liked being able to see the exact like room that or room, like what the room looks like where I'd be delivering um, as well as like the postpartum rooms and all that stuff so it was really good. Um, they sent us home with a folder with a bunch of handouts um, for like what to pack to the hospital and um, you know laboring positions to try. And um, there was like even a page of um, positions to try in the third trimester when you're feeling kind of uncomfortable. Like it showed positions with your partner that um, can help to relieve pressure and aches and all that kind of stuff through the last this last trimester. So anyway, it was totally worth um, our time and money. I think it was like $25. So if your hospital offers something like that, I would strongly encourage you to take that. At least for me, it was just so nice being able to ask a ton of questions and um, just really be able to envision what delivery might look like, you know, by being able to see the rooms and like understand the process and um, how things might go. I know things can change as far as like your actual um, birth story, how that all plays out. But I like being able to just envision the room where I'm actually going to be delivering and recovering and all that kind of stuff. So like I said, it was totally worth it. And I think if you guys are wondering, um, like if you're pregnant, if you're questioning if you should do something like that, I would totally suggest it. Okay, so a lot of times in these updates, I've been answering just like a list of questions, but I feel like those are getting redundant. I'm just gonna <laughs> focus on um, some of the symptoms I've been having the past couple weeks because it's been, it's been a little bit rough, I'm not gonna lie. Um, my feet and my hands have been so, so swollen that, and I, I hesitate to say like, so, so swollen because I know that swelling is a sign of preeclampsia and 
I don't have that as far as my doctor was concerned. He's checked me every time with the swelling and stuff and um, you know, he, he's never been concerned about it. Um, and I have, I started swelling about 20 weeks, honestly. And now it's to the point that I am feeling so swollen that um, my joints are hurting in my, in my fingers. Like each knuckle just aches, especially when I wake up from like, you know, in the morning after being asleep for however long, you know, and throughout the night I'll wake up and my fingers just ache. And I don't know if it's cause I'm like clenching or what, cause I know that can make it worse. Um, I'm trying to keep my fingers relaxed, but it is really tender and really painful. I feel like that's, it could be like carpal tunnel if that's um, like, if that's what it is, I don't know. But maybe that's a common thing in pregnancy. Um, yeah, so as long as my doctor is, um, you know, not worried about the swelling, then I'm just probably going to have to just deal with it. It's just a symptom of pregnancy. Some people swell, some people don't. Um, I barely fit in any shoes. <laughs> it's getting kind of ridiculous. I even have, I don't know if I mentioned this in the past um, pregnancy update, but around like 28 weeks, I think I bought um, a size bigger um, in a couple pairs of shoes just to have that I thought would last me till the end of the pregnancy, but it's, I don't know, they're, they're barely hanging on. So yeah, the, the achiness in my joints and stuff is really, it's gotten me down a lot. I feel like I'm not able to do the things that I want to do to prep for baby and like clean the house and, you know, do all the nesting and stuff. Cause I'm just like achy and it's, there's a fine line too, between like, I got to make sure I'm walking enough and moving around enough and like resting and putting my feet up. Um, it's like a balance. Uh, and sometimes when I go for a walk, I feel really good. And then sometimes when I go for a walk, I don't feel very good. I'm still doing um, yoga every morning and that usually makes me feel awesome. Just like 15 to 20 minutes, like does wonders for me. Um, but yeah, it's as far as like exercising, walking is pretty much the only other thing I'm doing. And like I said, if I walk too much or too far, it it makes me really achy in my tailbone and in my like joints. Um, but if I don't walk enough, I think that also makes me achy and sore. So it's just trying to figure out that balance. If you guys have any tips for me with swelling and like if you've experienced that and something maybe that you did to help with that symptom, let me know. I am happy to say that I am sleeping well when I am actually asleep. So sometimes it takes me a little bit longer to fall asleep because I'm trying to get comfortable. Um, but once I'm asleep, I feel like I sleep well. It's just I wake up, have to go to the bathroom <laughs> three or four times a night. But usually I can fall right back asleep after that, so thank goodness. Um, and then sometimes I wake up, when I wake up to go to the bathroom, my, my joints, they're just so, like my... Ugh, my knuckles, my hands especially, are just really, really achy. Um, but it still has not prevented me from being able to fall right back asleep, so I'm really grateful for that. So when I am sleeping, I'm sleeping pretty well. But I definitely wake up several times a night. <laughs> I think one of the hardest things I've been dealing with, symptom-wise, for the past couple weeks has been this increased level of anxiety and I don't know where that's coming from other than maybe I'm just feeling super anxious about um, getting closer to her due date um, and so I, and I don't feel like everything's perfect and ready and I know I can be a perfectionist and I need to just let it go because if she were to come even right now we would be fine you know we would just have to we'd figure it out it would all work out but I just I don't know there's this like driving force and maybe this is just what nesting is to have everything be so set in stone perfect around the house, around like with her nursery, with all the baby stuff. Um, it's just, I want it all to be so perfect and like ready for her. I'd rather just be waiting for her to come and all that stuff will already be done than um, like be taken by surprise. But it's weird because part of me just like is so over all these pregnancy symptoms that I just, want her to come and relieve me from being pregnant um, 
but I don't know it's just like such a mind game right now I'm dealing with but yeah so the anxiety level has definitely increased a little bit and I dealt with anxiety and even depression in the past um, especially while I was struggling with infertility if you guys don't know if you're new to my channel we did do IVF to um, get pregnant and we it took us about four or five years almost five years to get her so anyway um, I have not really felt any sort of anxiety or depression or anything the past like six months or so um, but I'm starting to feel like that trickling in a little bit of depression but mostly just this anxiousness this anxiety um, so I think I'm gonna probably talk to my doctor a little bit more about that he I have talked to him about that already um, in the beginning of my pregnancy I did tell him that I had struggled with that um, so uh, he's aware so I, I do want to bring that up at my next appointment so that we're on the same page and I'm just making sure I'm covering all my bases and stuff so overall I'm still very happy and you know mostly just doing well but I have had these moments of just like you know you guys know I'm sure you've all felt this anxiousness or whatever and even um, I'm starting to feel little bits of depression in a weird way um, that it's weird I say because I'm just like I have no reason to be feeling depressed or whatever um, but I guess that's what depression is you know you don't really have a reason to be feeling depressed so anyway this I didn't mean to go down like this whole rabbit hole of emotions and how I'm feeling overall I'm doing fine I will be talking to my doctor about it at the next appointment and see what he suggests or just to make him aware of what's happening in my head and hopefully maybe when um, things start to calm down a little bit as far as getting things settled that might help so as far as when I say getting things settled I just mean like the nursery done the all the baby gear ready we don't have a car seat yet that's kind of stressing me out I don't know I think I'm just being oh, I'm just overthinking things like I usually do so we're gonna move on as far as cravings go I mentioned the last like couple pregnancy updates I've been craving ice cream a lot I still am and I still crave salads I've been craving um, spinach and eggs like scrambled together so that's a good thing I'm glad I'm craving some healthy healthy things um, yeah what else I've been craving like bagels again I craved those in the beginning of the pregnancy but I have been craving those again especially cinnamon raisin bagels that just sounds so good um, yeah and that's pretty much it as far as cravings go I realize I should probably just I've got two months left so I really need to take advantage of any craving <laughs> and just really just, you know milk it because I'm not gonna be able to use the excuse of pregnancy cravings for long so I need to milk those cravings so in the next couple weeks um, before I do another update Eric and I are heading to San Diego for a conference we work we don't work together necessarily, but we work for the same company. We basically do the same job for different um, businesses within the company. So Eric and I will be going to San Diego to a conference together, um, which will be fun. Um, I hope I can <laughs> make it through that conference, you know, survive all the walking and stuff that I'm gonna have to do and sitting. <laughs> I'm a little nervous about it. The flight, I'm not too worried about. My doctor said I'm totally fine to fly. It's just an hour flight. Um, but yeah, so, and I love San Diego. I love the food there, so it should be fun. I'm just hoping my body allows me to enjoy it. <laughs> and um, yeah, so that's what, one thing I'm looking forward to over the next couple weeks. It's like weird I'm looking forward to it and I'm also kind of worried about it, but um, should be good. Uh, Eric and I have not done a baby moon or anything, so I guess this could be like a baby moon, um, even though it's a work trip. <laughs> and that's pretty much it for this uh, pregnancy update, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. 
Um, if you're not already subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button and follow me over on Instagram where I do more day-to-day -day updates. I'll put my Instagram info in the description box below as well as up here. So you guys can check me out there. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I will catch you guys in my next video. Thank you.